very freaking tired. I didn't sleep again last night. I know I have problems. Let's just not even talk about that. I'm I'm hungry. I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. So got my pan, need some butter, I'm gonna fry some potatoes, and then I think I'm gonna mix some eggs in with it. Just kind of have this thing with eggs and potatoes and cheese and jalapenos and onions. Oh, it's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be good stuff. But yes, good morning everybody. So far I got some butter, milk, and a little bit of minced garlic. Gotta get this heated up. As I cut up this potato at the same time. By the time I'm done with this, that should be hot. Alright. Be nice. Put in the potatoes and the bacon. I think I'm gonna turn it down because it's kind of burning. No. There we go. Now it's gonna take a while for the potatoes to cook down. They got to be soft. They're almost ready. I'm gonna brown a little bit more. Bacon needs to get a little more crispy as well. This is my egg cheese concoction. It's going in next. For the eggs and cheese. coming off this is amazing. Oh, it's so good. Alright. Done and done. Potato, egg, bacon, cheese, concoction with other things. All these dried things on top are the dried cheese I scraped from the bottom of the pan. Oh, it's so good. Oh, if Nick wasn't eating it too, I probably would have added like some onions. Oh. And some, well, actually, that's all I would have added otherwise. Nick just doesn't like onions. And I have one of these. Oh, I need one of these so bad. I'm so freaking tired. Let's eat. Can't forget the hot sauce. Hey. Aww. Well, gotta get a new bottle. It is indeed delicious. I just found this on YouTube. There's a live stream of uh, astronauts up in space. Space and Universe official. It's really cool. I don't know, it just randomly popped up on my uh, recommendations. Home Depot just called and normally we don't do deliveries uh, only for catering really, not like smaller orders. And the guy just asked if I would do a delivery for a smaller order. Well, it's not really a small order. It's a decent sized order. And I'm not doing anything else. And money is money. Business is business. So why not? The only thing is, is he said uh, right down the street. And I didn't get like the full address. I got the partial address. And there's technically two Home Depots right down the street. So... I'm guessing it's the closer of the two. We shall find out. But I gave myself like a 10 minute leeway. So if it's not this first one, then I'll have enough time to get to the second one. All right, that was the right Home Depot. Awesome. So food is delivered. And that guy, that guy when he called me at the restaurant, <clears throat> he was like, I'm sorry, I know it's last minute. We, we try not to do this, but you know, something fell through, blah, blah, blah. And he was telling me how he was calling all these like businesses that are right around this Home Depot. Cause I don't know, for those of you that know Home Depot, they're usually positioned right in the middle of everything. They're in like a strip plaza or right next to a bunch of restaurants. There's literally a, an oregano, a pizza place right there. He said they would not walk food over for seven people. All they had to do was walk across the parking lot. He said he called like four or five places and everybody was really, really rude to him telling him that if you need to place a catering order, you have to do it a day ahead of time, blah, blah, blah. 
And I was like, yeah, that, that's kind of crazy. I mean, it, <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense to me. Like, corporate restaurants, I don't know. I don't know, but anyways, I guess that's the positive dealing with a family restaurant is they'll pretty much, uh, we will at least, you know, I never turn down any kind of catering order, any kind of delivery, unless it's like a sandwich for two people, because that's a different kind of delivery. We don't do that. We don't have as many people on hand at the restaurant to do that. All right, well, back to the restaurant. And uh, luckily, I guessed right with the Home Depots. I came over to Katie's to find that her dad made me a sandwich. That was very nice of him. I hope those, I hope those thoughtfulness and skills have transferred to you. You haven't noticed by now? They have. I'm just giving her crap. She's an amazing girlfriend. Don't kick me. <laughs> Suck on my toes. Normally on Tuesdays, Nick and I go to a movie, but he has editing to do for his music video. Or I don't know. We've never really talked about Nick's side project jobs, but he's busy, so I'm here <laughs> with this one and her doggies and my sandwich. Whenever there's food, there's this one. <laughs> Don't look away. <laughs> She's so cute. You're cute. I was driving home from Katie's. Hi, puppy. Excuse me. Excuse me. What I thought was a dog ran in front of my car. And I got closer, and it wasn't a dog, it was a coyote, and it was so cute. Because we live in the desert, so we got all these desert cactus and animal whatnot. So anyways, yeah. So yeah, it was a coyote. And it wasn't like a baby coyote, and it wasn't a full-grown coyote. It was like a teenager coyote, or like, like a youth. It was smallish. It was so cute, I wanted to like pet it and cuddle with it and take it home. But no, that'd be bad. It was really cute. And he was just going because the, uh, the road I was on, there was a bridge and there was a wash that went under the road. So for some reason, instead of going under the road, he decided to go over the bridge. And I don't know, silly coyote. But he made, it, he made it just fine to the other side. Everything was okay. There was no other cars around. It was just me and the coyote. Yep. So uh, that, was my, that was my awesome story. I'm going to take a shower. Lily's going to play with her obnoxious toy because she loves it. Don't you, Lily? Don't you, Lily? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm, I need to get myself ready for bed. I still haven't got caught up in my sleep from like a week ago. Maybe tonight, it's only like 12.30. So if I get in the shower, get out and get in bed, I'll be good. But that means I gotta do those things right now. I was in such a rush to get to bed, I almost forgot to say goodnight. Ugh. Normally, Wednesdays and uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday are my days with Zoe. She has this week off, and you guys probably don't know, but her mom is really pregnant. She's due in like a month, six weeks, something like that. So she asked me today if she could keep Zoe, and Zoe could help her around the house for the next couple days. And of course, I reluctantly said yes, because I know she needs a hand, but I'm going to miss my child. I'm still going to see her on Friday, but I'm just not going to get her until then. So that means tomorrow I don't have a Zoe. So that means I will be hanging out with the Katie. So come back tomorrow, hang out with us. We're going to be going to the mall. And I'm not sure what else is going on, but I do know Katie needs to go to the mall. We were supposed to go to the mall last weekend. We never made it. And then we're probably just going to come back here. But who knows? Come back, hang out with us, and I'll see you then. Thank you for watching. And uh, you guys are awesome. Good night. Don't forget to thumb up and subscribe and comment and all those things. And all right, time for bed.